New safe. Uh, rowdies. So are you okay, man? Yes, I am. <laughs> He's taking up drawing. Want to see a little picture I drew? I'm not very good. Well, yeah, that's true. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. You there. You're friends with Rowdy. Why does he discriminate against floaters? I only want something to drink and an interesting conversation. We Awa are an intelligent, well-spoken race. My cousin, Kate Conrad, is the master informant of the bricks. You should look him up. He likes to hang out at the Fountain Overlook. In exchange, maybe you can talk to Rowdy about letting me drink in the bar. Well, I'll have to check out his cousin. People look surprised when they hear an Ewa talk so eloquently, but our vocal cords are the most versatile in the galaxy. <laughs> if you heard our native language, it would burst your eardrums. I'll politely refrain from demonstrating. Thanks for that. Off we go. Oh, what's this? That doesn't look good. You're gonna hit me, aren't you? <laughs> oh dear. And I don't really look that in shape. Was it something I said? Yeah, to my sister. Ouch. Uh. My gun. You know, there's a special introductory offer at the Temple of Beating up the street. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to brush up on those self-defense skills, don't you think? Yes. Don't be so sassy about it. I suppose that just says to go to... So, there's the animals uh, in Frank Slop House. There's a floatish near the Fountain Overlook, who is a master informant. Funny how we've never heard of him. And then going to Whackmaster Jack to brush up on your fighting skills. I'll do that first. You are such a lucky dog sometimes, Boots. Looks like someone dropped the health grease plus over there behind me. Oh yeah. You know the drill. Press F5 to go to the party setup screen. Click on the icon of your face, then click on the heal grease plus. That should bind up your wounds in no time. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, F5 to go to the party screen. Okay. I'm at one health, I probably need that. And now... Got a broken pistol. My health is back, luckily. Get a view of this odd planet. Getting dizzy. I hate this place. 
I love this place. Like I said earlier, I really love the concept of this planet. It's crazy. Hello, officer. This is a Nox guard. That poor creep fell 40 feet to his death. That graph pad up there must have malfunctioned. Makes you wonder if you'll be ready when your number is up. Will you have lived the life you wanted to live? Mm. Philo philosopher. Hey, how long have you been standing there? <laughs> oh dear. Um, me. Yeah, and Frowzy hit the bricks. Okay. So he fell down, eh? Scary. You look lost. What are you trying to find? Whackmaster Jack's Temple of Beating. It's pretty close. Just he head up this ramp, follow the corridor, then hang right. Okay. Oh, it's got signs here. Up the ramp. Fountain. What, Master Jax? Hello. Keep walking unless you want a mouthful of blood and gravel, you monkey. They're not very friendly, are they? Ah. The. That's probably the flow through hangs out at the fountain overlook. The master informant. But we're going to learn how to fight first. hit or not to hit to hit <laughs> sorry dude free maple fortunate is it not that such a place as this exists I've nothing to fear in the dark of the night, for I have beefy whacking at my disposal. Last night, while strolling home, someone was following me. I could tell by the sound of his dainty footfalls that he was a ruffian of the most degenerate sort. Just as he came within my grasp, I unleashed high-octane beefiness on him. I broke him, snap for snap, bone for bone. I held him like giant paintbrush. Spelling out my name on the wall with his blood. Self-defense is sweet. <laughs> I love this game. Alright. Let's go upstairs to learn how to fight better. This is a bit of a tutorial area. But it gets you some goodies and things so you have to sort of play through it she says she likes men with broad shoulders every guy she's gone out with is the size of a zong ball player but she complains they're dumb as dice well i'm gonna be both brains and brawn all in one i just need some help on the brawn she will love me i'm sure she will what about you, little midgets? You look like the dude that... Oh, he's not that short, actually. He just looked short. Probably because he's so wide. Look like the dude that hit me. One of Detta's henchmen. Come on, Heenan, take a swing. Those robot targets are making a joke out of you. You're weak, kid. You ain't never gonna be someone. <laughs> You're just standing there. 
We're throwing you back on the streets if you don't step it up, Heenan. You're a disappointment. Huh. Yeah, he is just standing there, assuming that's the one he was talking about. Mutants and machines face off Goliath versus LBX 71, courtesy of Geneticorp Arms Branch. <laughs> Geneticorp. <laughs> Fight of the Millennium Goliath versus LBX 71, only at Whackmaster Jacks. Alien versus Human, Rick the Nord. Versus Rick the Ring King Cole. Now we can't understand what these are saying. They're aliens. Looking at my bag of Glodents, eh? I've been collecting Glodents for 10 long years now. I know all about them. Glodents are odd rodents bathed in neutron radiation. They fuel your shield cells and power belts, so they're a definite must if you're gonna get into any scraps. They were orig originally discovered on Hephaestus, the lava planet where all those wonky monks live. Glodents are easy to breed and easy to raise from similar non-radiated rodents. They're such a cheap power source, everybody's using them now. Even Cordicom finally got in on the action and markets them. Rodents that power your stuff. The only real nasty thing about them is their odor and the fact that shield cells and power belts consume them. Lock, stock and whiskers. Take one. It's worth 40 NRG. But don't get too friendly with it. They're meant for fuel, not companionship. Great. Whack Master Jack. Judging by the choice condition of that shiner, I suspect you're here to learn the fine art of the scuffle, the beat, the whack. No then, I don't take loafers and I don't take thieves. I take students and I expect respect. Give me any lip and I'll fatten it. Hmm. Before we begin, however, his, there's a small matter of my training fee. Knowledge isn't cheap, but for a mere five loonies, we can begin our first lesson. Yeah, fine. Let's begin with a crash course on simple combat. The streets of Anachronox hide all manner of threat, and you would do well to learn some basics. Come, step into the ring. If you're gonna learn the way of the whack, you better cut jack-wise and beef up on the fundamentals. So yeah, this is a tutorial, basically. Um, mm -hmm. First, so the basic abilities is might indicates how physically powerful you are in a fight. Something about that spare tie around your girdle tells me this ain't gonna be your forte. Yeah. So Mike governs beefiness and the beat skill. Second of the basic abilities is agility. Your agility is what makes you fast, graceful and likely to avoid a licking. A true master of agility can dodge all but the most skilled attacks. Hell, someday you might even learn to dodge that robot target behind me. Right now though, I'm just not seeing it, Tiger. So that governs the speed, beat and beat block skills. They had to come up with uh, non-trademark names, I guess. The third and last of these basic skills is Wisdom. This one doesn't seem your forte either, but let's hope for your sake there's still a brain cell or two rattling around in there. Hold on a sec, Chief. I came here to learn how to fight. So far, all you've done is explain really obvious concepts while giving me the verbal smackdown. You're gonna teach me something useful or what? <laughs> right. So, wisdom governs my beat block skill. All right.
main skills using battle battle of beefiness beat speed and beat block beefiness is ability to deal large amounts of raw damage i'm not too good at that beat how good you are at hitting something someone speed how fast you can attack obviously and beat block allows to avoid yeah obvious <laughs> Always have your weapon equipped at all times, indeed. I will. Let's see. At least I got the pistol out of that. It's definitely worth the five loonies. Okay, so this is a fight tutorial. This is what all battles look like. They're all um, uh, somewhat turn-based. As soon as the fight breaks out, your battle plaque will appear. It contains all the information and commands you need to fight. So that's my health. Uh, if it's my turn, battle icons will appear above my plaque to allow me to select my next move. So, so the attack icon looks like a fist, if you click on that you can choose someone to attack. Move item allows you to move, you can move in sort of a grid as you'll see later. Um, item, you use your inventory items. Action icon, uh, if there's something nearby like a handle you can pull or something then you can, uh, that one appears. This is just loading my turn, as it says here. So only when that's full, I can actually do an action. Um, enemies can hit you while it's loading, so the slower it loads, the more hits you take before you can attack. So you can always cancel your action. So I can now attack it and by clicking on this icon. And I hit it for a measly 11 points. Oh, oh that hurt. 73. Did you think you would just take a poke without fighting back? Hmm, true. So, health bar, obviously, as usual. Take another shot. And we'll move on. Okay. Not bad, but you need to loosen up. You hold the gun like it's a dead rat. Yeah, indeed. 73. You're gonna need a ton of tutoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life Cursor Shield Upgrade. Since I don't even own one, why don't you take it? He's giving out a lot of freebies. No, really, you caught me on a generous day. <laughs> I did. So, now I've got a shield upgrade for my Life Cursor. So, now there's this blue bar. Battle skills are special moves that you can perform during battle. They're quite powerful but require special energy to execute, unlike beat attacks that you can do every turn. Right. So this blue bar allows me to do a special attack if it's full enough. So this is a special attack, it's fist with a little, I don't know, Fatima screen. So I put it on myself, and it plays a nice long animation. Battles can become quite long because of these animations. They look quite cool in the beginning, but by the end of the game you're sick of them. Uh, I'll probably be fast forwarding a lot of my battles. just 
speeding them up. Excellent. Last time the robot target hit you for 73 damage. With the upgrade screen, he only hit you for 37. Quite a difference. Yeah. That's amazing. Congratulations, you survived your first lesson. Every new client gets two heal grease plus at the end of their first lesson. <laughs> Come grab me again when you're ready for your next lesson. I'm just going to get all of that uh, out of the way right now, just so it's done. So I gained the level. Uh, let me check the party screen. So I've got more health now, level two. So see how long I've been playing. Um, so yeah, my agility and wisdom are now good instead of fair. So I've got a fair amount of speed and, and block, so that's good. My weapon is bad apparently. Well, it's barely working bad energy pistol. So I'll probably want to replace that at some point. Pick lock skilled and that's a list of special skills. Oh, special skills, the special battle uh, things. Last, yep. Oh, just do more. Crack your knuckles, pull up your socks and let's begin. Distance can make all the difference in the world. Someone who fights with their bare hands or stick needs to be close to their enemy, while someone with a gun can attack from further away. Like me! <laughs> Don't roll your eyes at me, Squab. For all I know, you have the scent of common sense in that cranium. Till you prove otherwise, I gotta state the obvious. So, melee range... I saw that. Yeah, sorry. I swear to class, son, if you roll your eyes at me one more time, and I'll knock him out for good. You hear me? Sorry. How about we beat some of that attitude out of you? Mm. No. Another one of those practice bots. Remember your last lesson taught you about different battle icons. I'm gonna focus on the move command now. So I'm going to want to... Set to melee attack only, try avoiding it for as long as possible using the move button. Let's see how far those chicken legs get you. Uh, oh, right. So you have to click on the icons, not on the real world. area. Oh dear. Not looking good. Oh, damn. Oh well, not bad. It took him a while to catch up to you, boss. Not the most useful tactic in battle, but it's nice to know your options in a pinch. True. If you're gonna make a habit out of getting slapped around every time I throw you in the ring, I better teach you how to heal yourself. Firstly, recommend Cordicom Heal Grease for all your healing needs. Wonder if he gets paid by them. So, it works on everyone, for everything. I imagine a downtrodden bastard such as yourself should keep one handy at all times. Hey. <laughs> Luckily for you, Cordicom gives me a free supply of standard heel grease every month for endorsing their product. Here's a sample tube. To use heel grease, I'll need to, yeah, select an inventory. Right, so we select our little backpack icon and our regular heel grease. And once again, animation. Yep, I will. Mm hmm. So sometimes you can use the environment. It doesn't happen often as far as I remember, but occasionally in a boss fight it comes in handy. So move to the left 
end use the panel. So the special light thing. There you go. So he can't get to me now. And I can. So a line of sight can come into play during battle as well. So if someone stands directly between me and the enemy, I can't target him. And vice versa. <laughs> Okay, I think this this one more lesson to do. So oh, I can walk. So let's get that out of the way, and then we can go maybe to Frank's flop house. Or, yeah, Frank's flop house. That last lesson here. Almost ready to graduate. Yes, yes. Get it all done. Status effects. So these are basically like little grenades or bombs that you can toss. Or you can find better versions of them. These are, I think, the lowest level of them. So you use them the same, you use them from your inventory. And then, uh, just toss them at your enemy. And it sets them on fire, hopefully. Boom. There you go. Shield cells. Ah yes, I knew there was a reason I continued doing this tutorial. Ah, I can't keep it. But it does show you something new. So I can find a shield which adds health basically. shield just adds extra health you know in reality and with that I send you off into the great big wonderful world of beating strangers my boy <laughs> all right never be afraid to shoot them in the ding dong always good advice don't die dumb or anything, although in your case, I guess that's inevitable. Pleasant journeys. Such a friendly fellow. Probably wouldn't want to get into a fight with him. So, let's keep going, shall we? Off to Frank's flop house. Save. Thank mm -hmm. you.